Hello children, in this video we will solve questions that were asked from the mathematical reasoning section in the International Max Olympiad 2017-18 for standard 6. Find the greatest number which always divides the product of the predecessor and the successor of an odd natural number other than 1. Let us solve this question with the help of an example. Let us first consider an odd number. I have taken 3 here. So what is the number that will come before 3? That is nothing but 2. Or the predecessor of 3 is 2. What is the number that will come after 3? Or the successor that will come after 3 is 4. The number that comes after 3 is called as the successor. And the number that comes before 3 is called as the predecessor of 3. So here the predecessor and the successor are 2 and 4 respectively. Now what is 2 multiplied by 4? 8. So the greatest number which always divides the product of the predecessor and the successor of an odd natural number other than 1 is 8. Might be we can uh, take one more example. Let us take 5. If I am taking 5, that is another odd number. So the number that comes after 5 is 6 and the number that comes before uh, 5 is 4. So I have 4 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 24. So this 24 is also divisible by 8. Now let us take another number. Let us take uh, 9. If I take 9, I have 10 and I have 8. So 8 multiplied by 10, that is equal to 80. See, you can ask me, here I have 24. 24 is also divisible by 12. Why can't I say 12 as the answer? But 12 is not always divisible for all the cases of odd numbers. See, if I am taking 8, 9, 10, is 80 correctly divisible by 12? No. So the greatest number which will always divide the successor, the product of the successor and the predecessor of an odd number other than uh, 1 is always 8. Your correct answer here will be option C. That is 8. So before you arrive at the answer, try to uh, take 2 or 3 cases and check, recheck if your answer is correct. So I have tried here with 3, with 5 and with 9 and all the three cases it is divisible by 8 again you could have check we can check with the options also we have 6 4 8 and 16 it is definitely divisible by 4 in all the cases it is definitely divisible by 8 also then they are asking for the greatest number so definitely 8 can be our answer now if we check divisibility by 6 80 is not divisible by 6 similarly 80 is not divisible by 16 so those two options are anyway going to go wrong your correct answer here will be option c 8 Amulya and Amar visited two places A and B respectively in Kashmir and recorded the minimum temperatures on a particular day as minus 4 degrees Celsius at A and minus 1 degree Celsius at B. Which of the following statements is true? A is cooler than B. What is the temperature at A? The temperature at A is minus 4 degree Celsius and the temperature at B is minus 1 degree Celsius. See, as the temperature goes down, definitely the place is cooler. Correct? Now, if the temperature of a place is 30 degree, temperature of another place, if I say it is 25 degree, which is the cooler one? This is the cooler one. Correct? Similarly, here, minus 1 and minus 4. Now, minus 4 is lesser than minus 1. So, definitely A is cooler than B. So, option A is the correct answer option. Now, next option says B is cooler than A. No, that's not correct. B has more temperature than A, which means it is hot than A compared to A. This is the wrong answer option. The there is a difference of 2 degrees in the temperature. No, difference between the uh, temperature of two places is not 2 degrees, it is 3 degrees. So, this is also wrong. The temperature at A is 4 degrees higher than that at B. That is also very clearly wrong. Very easy question. The correct answer here is option A. As soon as you read option A and understand that it is correct, just mark that as the answer and move on to the next question. The number of diagonals in a heptagon is dash. Heptagon means seven-sided polygon. Heptagon is a seven-sided polygon. Now, how many diagonals are there uh, in a heptagon? See, to find out the number of diagonals in any polygon, there is a very easy formula which you can memorize. So, if I have a polygon which has n sides, the number of diagonals in the polygon is nothing but n into n minus 3 by 2, n multiplied by n minus 3 by 2. This is the number of diagonals in the polygon, where n represents the number of sides. Now, in a 
heptagon there are seven sides so how many diagonals will be there seven multiplied by seven minus three divided by two which is equal to seven multiplied by four by two which is equal to seven twos are fourteen correct answer here will be option a fourteen find the value of the given expression here you have to convert the numbers which are given in the uh, roman numerals to decimal numbers and then solve the question so for what is the first uh, number that we have here it is l followed by 8 l is nothing but 50 and you have an 8 after 50 so this represents 58 then here you have xx which is 10 10 that is 20 and a 4 after 20 is nothing but 24 here you have L, L is 50, then after 50 you have 3 times 10, that is 50 plus 30, which is 80, 80 plus 9, 89. And then here you have 30 and a 2, 32 minus, here you have XC, that is C is 100 and you have a 10 before 100, what is 10 before 100, it is 90. And after 90 you have a 4, so 90 plus 4, that is 94. Find out the value of this. What will be the answer that you get? 58 plus 24 plus 89 plus 32 minus 94, which is equal to 109. You will get 109. Now, how will I represent 109 in terms of Roman numerals? What is 100? 100 is nothing but C. After 100, what do I have? I have a 9. So, this is the representation of 109. 9 in Roman numerals. Your correct answer here will be option C. If you do not know how to represent a given number in the Roman numeral uh, system or if you do not know uh, how to interpret numbers given in uh, Roman numerals, please refer to the video on Roman numerals so that it is easier for you to understand. I have done a video on Roman numerals in the concept videos. Please refer to that if you have any doubts. Next one, which of the following figures has more than three lines of symmetry? If we look at option A, how many lines of symmetry do we have? One, two. We have only two lines of symmetry. If we look at option B, there is only one line of symmetry like this. Look at option D. Here also we have, this is one line of symmetry and this is one line of symmetry. Again, we have only two lines of symmetry. If we look at option C, this is one line of symmetry and uh, this is another line of symmetry. Similarly, you have this as a line of symmetry and again this also as a line of symmetry. So definitely option C has more than three lines of symmetry. I hope the questions that we solved in this video was clear to all of you. Thank you.